Hey guys, we are continuing our Hope Slanging series. For those of you who don't know or just now tuning in, um, I wrote a short film uh, that I'm producing post-COVID. Right now we're in pre-production planning. And again, instead of complaining and adopting a woe is me policy, we just decided to just encourage and inspire other people and other creatives who may be going through the things. So tonight our guest speaker is going to be uh, the Paige Peter Wilson. He is our lead actor in our Devar film, an amazing human, and I hope you guys enjoy this chat. No, oh, I think I read something somewhere. It was like when the times get tough, the stuff get going, or that I know there's like an old phrase, but I'm messing it up right now. I think that's it. When the times get tough, the stuff get going. I don't know. I'm finding out what I'm made of over here, and I feel like that too. So you're yeah. the star of Devar. I just want to ask you. So I what? Can't wait. What drew you to this project in the first place? So uh, wait, tell, wait, tell them how we know each other first. And oh, of course, of course. So we met on um, Single and Anxious, which mm -hmm. is a web series that is currently on Amazon, Amazon Prime. Um, and we met, I believe, in preparation for the... Was the rehearsals for the for the second season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, for the second season. So we, we met in rehearsals, hit it off right away. Um, I could tell that you were um, an incredible talent, uh, and and I, I really liked like your energy and which and what you brought to the project because you, you weren't on season one, so we had we had just met, and I I, I believe that um, before because I don't think we had any scenes together. But we would do like some some read throughs together and, and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that, and mm -hmm. it was we, I think we we kind of we kind of hit it off creatively from there, and, and it kind of went from there. Exactly. So, what are you to Devar? <laughs> <laughs> so when you hit me up and said mm -hmm. that this was this was kind of your baby, your passion project, mm -hmm. I was I was it was kind of yes for me right away. So what really you didn't even read the script, bro? Like you was like. Oh yeah. I know. <laughs> this seems interesting. I'm gonna do it. I was like, okay. Let me just see if he's still gonna come do it. So I was kind of nervous about it. <laughs> right. And so when I finally did get around to um to actually reading the script, the fact that it was about social injustice, mm -hmm. that's that's like right up my alley. Like social social injustice, um, representation, that's that's like everything that I'm about and and projects that I really gravitate towards. So it was, it was perfect. That's dope, that's dope. We're so excited to have you. And we're, I mean, while we're, I'm grateful for this season of kind of sitting down, but I am just like looking forward to kind of getting this project going. So. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm super excited because this is, this is around the time we're, we're supposed to be starting principal photography. So mm -hmm. I'm ready, I'm ready to get going. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to start. So for those of you who don't know, we're starting our crowdfunding campaign, Manana. So yes. if, you, if you if you vibe the project, you know, click. Yes. Support us. Um, we are a team of artists to... Uh, Spend that money. Support yes. artists. Yes. Yes. And you know what? Because by the time fall comes around, it's going to be a lot of productions that are just not happening. Because Definitely. this is the season right now that we should be filming. Definitely. So it's going to be, I feel like there's going to be some type of hunger, some type, some type of call for creativity uh, when this is all over. Tell me, tell me what you, how you feel about that, um, this season of sitting down and just having to be in the house and creating. Talk to me a little bit about that. I think that, first of all, I think that it's, it's a blessing, you know, to, because not just artists or creatives, I feel like everybody always has something that they're that they're maybe putting off mm -hmm. or maybe they're saying that they they don't have enough time if i had more time i would do i would do this if i had more time i would do that mm -hmm. but this is that time you know what i mean okay. um but i also want to acknowledge that it's not easy for everyone to do that absolutely you know um it, it is a pandemic going on outside and it's a it's a serious issue um people are getting sick, people who have family members who are getting sick or people, uh, people close to them are, are getting sick and, and passing away, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, and even if they aren't affected directly, everything that's going on and all the uncertainty, it's not the easiest time for some people to be creative. And right. I, feel like, I feel like we definitely have to acknowledge that 
But if you are in the mood to be creative, this is this is the perfect time when you're literally forced to to stay in your home as much as possible. And to pour out, what would you say to those people who are kind of going through the challenge of see, watching somebody be sick or something like that? Like, what would you say, especially those people who are creative in nature anyway? What right. would you say to them during this season or post this season when this is starting to subside? I was I would I would say to channel it, you know, cre- creativity, artistic, art, the artistic ability that you do have, it's an outlet. So maybe you can do something that um, encapsulate what we're currently going through as like worldwide. Absolutely. Again, it goes back to that quote I said before, like when times get tough, the stuff get going. Like, and that's get kind going. of amazing to pour out in the journal and to just feel what you're feeling, sit in it for Absolutely. a second, and then don't stay there. You're going to have Absolutely. to come out eventually, you know what I'm saying? But you got to deal with where, you're, where you are. Absolutely. Quite honestly. So I guess the, that begs the question, uh, who are you going to be on the other side of this? Ooh, see, that's a tough question because we've talked about that a little bit. Okay. Um, personally, I'm hoping to come out of this, um, man, a stronger... This is this is so tough to put into words because I'm hoping to come out of this. All right, let me put it plainly. I'm I'm hoping to come out of this um, with more in my arsenal. Okay. I'll say, I'll say it like that. I'm 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 looking to come out of this more prepared than I've ever been. Mm-hmm. So if I was to get an opportunity to to walk into a room, whether it's um, um, as a writer. As an actor, as a producer, I'm able to to say I didn't waste my time during these these last uh, weeks or months or whatever the case is going to be. Mm-hmm. I have I have something to add to my um, my resume from the time that we we spent isolated. Wow, that's deep. What are some of the things that you've been doing, or what are some of the things that you would suggest other people be doing uh, in their downtime in their quarantine time? Uh, if they so, are capable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so me personally, um, I'm all about creating projects. Um, I'm all about what you're doing. The, the short film medium is my favorite storytelling medium. Mm-hmm. So I've been I've been writing uh, short films. I'm balancing like like five different short film ideas. Um, I've never directed before, and and coming out of this, this it's one of my goals that. One of the short films that I write, I want to be my first um, for the first film that I direct. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm. That's that's what I want to come out of this. On the on the other side of this, I want to come out um, being able to say, "Yo, I spent that those last couple of weeks, and now I'm ready. If I get the opportunity, I'm ready." No hesitation on my part. Absolutely. I just feel like it's just the time where so many of us are being called. We're shaking. We're being shaken up for a reason. But but there's gonna be a need for a lot of us too, especially creatively. There's this That's book true. that I got. It's a master shot. Okay. I mean, professionally and non-professionally, people use this book. Uh, it's gonna give you some dope skills if anybody needs them um, with directing your directorial. That you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then it's just about being, you know, obviously working with actors and stuff like that too. Right. That's his own special skill. Um, yeah. So how you been working on that? What what ways have you been working on uh, being who you want to be on the other side of this? Uh, so like I said before, I've been I've been writing a ton. Every every mm-hmm. free moment that I have, I'm either um scribbling something into my notes, mm-hmm. my notes app for for something new, or um. I'm using uh, Final Draft or, or Celtics and, and typing away a couple of pages when I can. Um, right now, that's 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 pretty much it. That's pretty much the extent of of, of what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. But I'm hoping to expand that even further. And and I want to check out that book when you're finished with it too. I got you, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, what about non-creatively too? Do you a papa? You a daddy? Papa. Yes, yes. So, so, so you, daddy, what so you been doing? You been getting some family time in there? Definitely trying to spend as much time with family as I can. Um, people are isolated right now, so there's been a lot of a uh, lot of FaceTime for people who I can't visit in person, unfortunately. 
um, you know, just, just trying to, and this has been a really good time to reconnect with friends, people who you haven't spoken to in a long time and, you know, maybe uh, reignite or cultivate those friendships or relationships that you've had in the past. So I've been doing a lot of that, like just a lot of um, reaching out and, and trying to stay as connected as possible while we're distancing. Mm -hmm. You feel like it's just a time where we're, I don't know, I just, I guess I feel like this is the time where we are so distant, but we're so close all at the same time. Like, I haven't felt alone. I live up here. Like, I don't have no family up here. I'm in a long distance relationship. I'm just like, right, right. I'm just like here. But I, right. I don't know. It just still feels like that season of connection while our yeah. connection is being challenged. Like, we're finding ways to be connected. Absolutely. I'll tell you one thing. People are texting back faster than they ever have. Because they send my body phone. <laughs> that is, <laughs> that is, I don't know. I just feel like I've been busy. And people have been texting me. I'm like, okay. That's let me, good. That's great. You gotta let, keep me, that let, me, yeah. let me get you back. I'm going to come back to you in a minute. <laughs> I can't answer everything. Right now. Like, I'm at the house and y'all know I'm at the house. Some of these Zoom calls, yeah. email as far as work goes. I'm just like, y'all, y'all can email me this. Like, we still got to get me. Okay. I love y'all. I'm stopped. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's the way it's supposed to be. You got you got to keep that up, and you and you motivated me to to do the same. How so? To stay as busy as possible. You know, it's 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 easy to to get stuck in a rut and be like, man, I'm bored. Like I I just watched six movies on Netflix in a row. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. Because right. As creatives, you you that's that's part of your homework. Right. But um, it's easy to to fall into a rut or just to to fall into a a lull. Where it's a, a few days go by, and you're like, man, I'm bored. Nah, stay busy. Right, right. You know, I realized last night was the first time I turned on a series and I watched TV since this whole pandemic. And we've wow. been watching TV for probably about a month. But right. every time, like, I had tried to watch it before, I just got distracted. I was like, oh, I need to figure out this. I need to do this. I pick up a phone call, I take a phone call. And I was just like, dang. Yeah, that's I motivation for sure. That's motivation. For I watched sure. three episodes of Atlanta last night. I was like, Okay, okay. I to catch up on his show. Uh, so that was great. I love that, man. I just finished um, Ozark. Shout out to Ozark. That, that season three is, that's something. Listen, I'm, I'm not ready. I never finished the last episode of the second season. And Ooh. I just feel like I'm just not ready to go emotionally <laughs> to that place. Yeah, it's, it's an emotional it's investment. Outside, it's, it's people dying outside. I can't watch the drug. Man. Laundry and Trey, it just scares me. I don't know. That show is good as shit, though. That's, so that's show. That's yeah. That's my that's my show right there. That's the and this season they take it to a new level. Check it out. All right. Any other any other show plugs? Any other things? Insecure. Oh, you're coming back into the week. Insecure coming back. Um, what else? I check out uh, All American. You got to watch All American. Anything else you want to share with the people? Any any last stage advice you want to give to other creatives or people in general? Uh, well, I just want to give one in general, just to you know stay home as much as as you possibly can. I know there are, are exceptions. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to the first responders and people who work in healthcare, the nurses for sure. Um, and just stay safe, you know, stay, stay blessed up, prayed up. Recover. All right. Amen, brother. Where can the people find you? Give me, give me some social media handles. Or something. Uh, yeah. uh, at Paige Peter Wilson is P-A-G-E-P-E-T-E-R-W-I-L-S-O-N. That's on Twitter as well as Instagram. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Or your website. Page. Oh, yeah, the website. Oh, man. So you, <laughs> you catching me. Uh, <laughs> PagePeterWilson.com. Um, you can hit me up there as well. Um, and check out my uh, short film trio um, with my with my uh, frequent collaborators, mm -hmm. Kevin, as well as Ant. Um, that's on uh, YouTube. All right. What's up? Uh, Devar, crowdfunding releases soon. Support their project. Show love. Again, Paige is the star, our main character, Duvar. Hey, Duvar. Um, <clears throat> show love, guys. Uh, love and light, y'all. Thank you so much for your time, Paige. I really appreciate you. Uh, thanks for having me, Rick. I can't wait to just... Hey, it's done, for real. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> humans again. What's that like? Nah, all right. All right, good talking to you, sweetie. I'll talk to you soon. All right, sounds good. Thank you.